Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our English class. This is Elias Al Hariri, and today we have Grade Nine, Unit Ten: Wildlife in Danger. At the beginning, today we have Bird Number Seven and Page Thirty-Four. Let's start our lesson with Exercise Number One. And here we have, let me just, okay. In this exercise, write the words correctly, then add to the clouds. So here in this box, we have the words. The letters are not in order for each one. But how do you guess is this? Here we have man-made disasters. Which of these words refer to man-made disasters and which of these words refer to natural disasters can you guess natural disasters like what okay if we say natural disaster like for example uh, hurricanes we have uh, uh, avalanche we have mudslip we have a lot of things but here related to our lesson, okay, we can say natural disaster like flood and this is number one flood. Number two, this word is hurricane and here we have over overfishing. Overfishing I think it's yeah it's man made disasters. Overfishing, it's man made, okay. This is the this is earthquake earthquake it is natural disasters and the last one is and the last one is what it is pollution pollution is man made pollution is man made now let's take these words everybody and put it with exercise number 2 here we have exercise to match the words with meanings that are almost the same. So let me check here we have number one, two, three, four, five and six words. And also we have another six words. I want you to tell me enormous. What's the meaning of enormous? Very, very, very big. Okay, guess if you have any words here have the same meaning. Huge. So we have enormous and huge have the same meaning. Good. Close to and near have the same meaning. Okay. Go up and rise. Yes, they have the same meaning. What about find? Find or discover. Find and discover have the same meaning. Also, we have number, number and oh, large, huge, near, quantity. Yes, number and the quantity. And the last one, difficult with hard. Difficult with hard. Very good. Now, so keep these words in your mind. So we need them in exercise number three. So, we have enormous, huge, close to, near, go up and rise. We have find, discover, number, quantity, difficult and hard. Okay, let's do exercise number three. And I already put these words to uh, use them and, uh, and uh, put them in the spaces here. Okay, let me remove the picture. Now, number one. Add pairs of words from activity two. Make any changes needed. When we express the same meaning again, we often use a different word. Okay, this is, it's better to not repeat yourself. Number one. We made a large of burgers for the party. And we also cook a huge of fries. So the first one we made 
large number of burgers for the party and we also cook huge quantity of fries number two Tokyo is an city an enormous city and the population is huge too number three from the second from the sound of the sea we knew that we were close or near the beach but our boat was also very close to some dangerous rocks number four it's to learn any language it's difficult and it's hard to learn to learn any language but I think Chinese is really difficult and number five last night we a box of the cupboard we found a box of the cupboard and in the box we discovered a beautiful vase number four the last one number six the price of bread has has here we have has has gone up a lot and the price of the vegetables has risen too so after we finish this exercise i'm putting these words on the exercise let's come to exercise number four write rewrite the sentences and place the adverbs in brackets correctly in the underlined verb unit okay now so in this exercise we need to put rewrite the sentences and place the adverbs in brackets correctly in the underlined verb unit but before I come to this exercise let me explain something for you everyone if I have a sentence like I eat burger how many verbs do we have here we have just one verb it is eat so if I want to add this adverb always to this sentence and here in this sentence only I have one verb so I put it before the verb I always eat burger what about if I change this sentence I eat burger to negative I don't eat burger so in here in this sentence I have two verbs I don't eat burgers and if I want to put always in this sentence I put it between don't and the between the two verbs I don't always eat burger so if we have one verb we put always before the verb if we have two verbs we put always between the two verbs and number three if we have three verbs the food has been eaten by Ali here we have one two three verbs and if we have three verbs and we want to put always we have to put it after the first verb the food has always been eaten by Ali okay if I have one verb I put always before the verb if I have two verbs in the middle and if I have three verbs or more I put the adverbs after the first verb now let us come to our lesson rewrite the sentences again and put the adverbs number one is already finished for us sad changes are caused by pollution we need to put often sad changes just as one um, are caused here we have two verbs we put it are often caused by pollution what about number two whales were being caught for their oil okay whales were being caught for their oil we need to put already 
How many verbs we have? Where, being, and caught. Three verbs. And when you have three, three verbs, we put already after what? The first verb here. So it becomes whales were already being caught for their oil. Number three. Whales were being destroyed quickly. Whales were quickly being destroyed. Number four, their populations are rising again, slowly. Their populations are slowly rising again. Good? Okay. Now, let's come to the second part of our lesson. Now, rewrite more sentences with adverbs in the same way. 1. Several species of whale were lost. Here we have two verbs, were and lost, and we need to put almost. So, we say were almost lost. Okay? Several species of whale were almost lost. Number 2. Then catching whales was stopped by most countries. Then catching whales was all finally stopped by all by most countries. Number three, however, whales are still being caught by two or three countries. Number four, these countries have been trying, it becomes have also been trying to rise the numbers of that they can catch. Number five, great damage is being done. It, start, it, be, it uh, is now being done to other ocean species too. And the last one, for example, Many kinds of life along the world's coasts are being damaged. It becomes are badly being damaged by pollution. After you finish all this exercise, writing and guessing and whatever, that's all for today, everyone. Thanks for attending and have a nice day.